<laughs> so what we got coming up, man? <laughs> we got the sizzle. Yes, sir. It's your girl Lauren Sizzle, and I got the sizzle for you. Got the sizzle. So, yes, Jen Hubert, um, Hubert, sorry, you know who played on Viv. Oh, oh, oh yeah. On the I hit did. sitcom. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. The, okay, the, the, the dark skin. Yeah, the, the, that's what the they call mom. a dark aunt Viv, dark skin aunt Viv. That's the, that's mm-hmm. the real mom. That's, that's the, the original. The original, the original yes. yes. But I'm she, good. yeah, apparently she still has something against a uh, former um, co-actor, um, fellow actor, Will Smith. Smith. Yeah, oh, from the Fresh go. Prince of Bel-Air. Yes. Yeah. Forgot so did so anybody deep. see her tweet? No. When she uh-uh. tweeted, um, basically she blamed Will Smith for the suicide attempt. You know, we just was talking about suicide. But she blamed him for her son's suicide attempt. Her son? Her, her son. Oh. And she tweeted, Dear Will, quote, Dear Will, you destroyed my life with your lies. You win. My son is in the hospital. Hashtag suicide attempt. Hashtag F you world. Oh. What? So she later I'm deleted lost. that tweet. Yeah, I, I but guess it, so. I guess it goes back to, you know, the original when she was, you know, fired from the show back in 1993. Did they say why? Wow. That was back in 1993. It sounded like he, she was blackballed and he probably said, we're not living the way we used to. Probably. And feel like, yeah, she's been You like, know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't understand what other. Her son? No, I, I don't crazy. know how old her I don't know how old her son is, but if he's the same son mm. that she was, remember but she it's was been pregnant almost 30 on the years. show. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's been almost thirty years. Yeah. I guess they've been living a different lifestyle now, probably. But he yeah. wasn't born yet, so how you know what lifestyle you were living before you was born? <laughs> oh, wow. really? Oh, she didn't have him when they was. She was first? fired in nineteen ninety three. Hmm. So it what? was 93? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's been 20 something years. Like, come on. Yeah. Oh, the other Aunt Viv, the light skin Aunt Viv came on after yeah. her. Yeah. Okay. Nobody oh. looking at her like that. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. 93. Oh. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Mm. The one that did the dance one, remember? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, right. Episode, the dance <laughs> the one. Dance yes, one. yes, yes. Here come yes. the cackling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she had did a, um on the real. She came on the real back in 2016, and she was basically talking about, I guess, kind of how you know when it ended or whatever. Um, they were in the cast was in negotiations for the contracts, and she basically went to Will, and she and she did a video kind of explaining this, and she was like. Um, saying to him that she came to him and was like, maybe we can get a little raise, you know, with with your influence that would greatly help us, kind of like they did with Friends, you know, the show Friends. Mm -hmm. And then he, she claims that Will responded to her and was like, oh, my deal is my deal and y'all's deal is y'all's deal. So that's kind of, she felt some type of way originally, you know, before that. So then... After she left, Will did an interview, and he basically was like, um, you know, he could say that she wanted to be Aunt Viv on on the show. She honestly did. But, you know, um, she basically has gone from a quarter of a million dollars a year to nothing. So she's mad now, but she's been mad all along. Mm -hmm. So so he did another video? He did an interview after when she... um, after, after this insta- incident, right, after she was fired, and he was, like, uh, basically uh, saying she's going to dog him in the press now wow. and all this stuff. Uh, but it's been a history. It's been a long history of that, you know, stuff going on with them. Yeah. Five years. <laughs> she, she came for um Will and Jada um around the Ellie. boycott, the, yeah, the Oscars. Oscars. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. I remember that. And yeah. she was like, oh, you want to boycott the Oscars because Will Smith wasn't nominated for concussion. Mm-hmm. And like she basically was like, "Get out of here!" and this, that, and the other. But you know what though? To, one thing I will say though. You finish that story? Yeah, I'm done with that. Okay, so one thing that I, I will say though, it's good to see that Lady Astada is still staying on her position in terms of time length. Because when we were talking about <laughs> these know. women coming back, right? But but just yes. I mean, but we have to now. <laughs> It's kind of like, do you, uh, we talk about statute limitations, mm-hmm. but also oh, just man, time length be. of any issue. It should be. Sure. It should right? be. So if we take out the statute limitation, any issue that you may have with me, if it's you may got me fired, 
Mm-hmm. Can right. I bring that back up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, I mean, is it all right? I mean, it's just one of those things that you have to start mm-hmm. thinking about. Right. Do we start opening up this Pandora box of... Right. right. Yeah. Because well, I think I, for I, me, like, I can't stay mad that long. Right. It's like once, it's, like... it's a lot of energy to stay yeah, mad that long. it's too mm-hmm. much. Too much because the other much. person ain't thinking about it. This is yeah. You're the only no, one harboring exactly. it. You're the only one putting the effort and energy in it, still trying to... Exactly. ...fight mm-hmm. it, and, and it's like everybody else, nobody else cares. Yes. My only concern with this story is the fact that she's blaming her getting fired Right. 25 years ago on uh-huh. her son committing, trying to yes. commit suicide today. Uh-huh. How does something 25 years ago affect him today is to my only question. Mm-hmm. I hear what yeah. you're saying, like you used to a certain mm-hmm. type of lifestyle and now it's gone, but that lifestyle that was like, ended in 25 yes. years ago. Mm-hmm. So if he was a child then, he didn't even know. But How do you know? You gotta also life? understand that she probably put that same hate into her child. Oh, and now yes. her child, okay. as he grows older, carries that same hate. And now he's like, I'm doing this because of whatever with Will or whatever. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. So I don't know. It, could, mm. it sounds like that could be. You know what I mean? Because she mm. sounds like she has mental illness. No, 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 no. What's yeah, your story? I mean, we're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. Because some of my people did say that. Yeah. People are saying maybe she got some mental health issues. Yeah, right. we'll talk. But, yeah. yeah we, and we never know what you never know. could have triggered never something. Know. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You never know. But, yeah, you're next door. Yeah. Next? So, um, basically, the alleged victim who is suing Charlie Sheen as she's suing him as a Jane Doe for exposing her to HIV is claiming oh, yeah. that he coerced her into there signing a non-disclosure agreement. So according to TMZ, who obtained the documents, the woman is sticking to her original story that Charlie Sheen revealed that he was HIV positive after they had unprotected sex, which is contrary to, wait, no, I'm sorry. The woman is sticking to her original story that Charlie Sheen revealed that he had it after they had unprotected sex. But he's saying he told her beforehand. So, so when I'm, did the non-disclosure come into place? Before the sex or after? So that came after because what happened was, um, yeah, she, she ta- her doctors told her to find out what meds Charlie Sheen was taking so that she could take the same meds and be treated pop- properly. So she went to Charlie Sheen's house. Um, I guess he must have knew she was sick. Right. I don't know. <laughs> What doctor tells you? Isn't he cured? Or is he? Girl. Winning! (laughs) (laughs) So when she shows up at the house, it was for, quote, thuggish. For. It was for thuggish men. Oh, my God. Who, um, they, uh reportedly had guns and weapons lying around what? and yeah and then they took her to the Thuggish this garage man. and had her sign i'm i'm just trying to picture it in my head like was it a was it black <laughs> and it was like a little light hanging from the ceiling and it was like shining down on the non-disclosure agreement right yeah Charlie Sheen, gangster. Right. yeah exactly yeah <laughs> exactly winning <laughs> yes yes winning <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> so she's saying that he made her sign this. She she's um, from Moscow. She didn't understand what it was because she doesn't speak English well and or she whatever. A partner. Yeah, so she's basically Winning. trying to make it <laughs> seem like oh, she signed it under the. I need rest. some sound effects in this. You gotta get some sound effects, y'all. Really, because I'd have yes. been tearing this story up. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! Yes, yes. But I mean, it'll it'll be interesting to see. I don't know, man. I think they should do like a like a like a um um like a video like a movie. Like a lifetime. Uh, yeah, like a lifetime. And that's what I said. I was watch, watch this lifetime yes, movie come, yes, come out yes. about this joint. Yes. And so, make Charlie Sheen some more money. Yeah. <laughs> Winning <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, no doubt. So finally, oh, twenty one okay. Savage. He's proven that he could still be a savage when, when stuff starts popping off. Yeah. The rapper was seen brandishing a gun when a fight broke out at an Atlanta pool party. So, according to Double XL, there was this pool party, which is known in Atlanta. It's called the Big A, the Big A Pool Party. Mm-hmm. Um, so, that was happening. And then, all of a sudden, this large group of people came, and they basically, basically crashed the party. So um, it, it became a problem when one of the people from that from that group that crashed said something to right, right. the girl that was with Twenty One Savage, and then a brawl ensued, and oh, then they God. get 
you know, they, there was this video where all of a sudden you see 21 Savage with this gun. Like, you know, they start throwing blows. Somebody gets knocked out. Next thing, 21 Savage just pops up magically with this pistol in the midst of the chaos. So, uh, you know, apparently nobody. be on yeah. camera, huh? Yeah, well, it was on it was on a regular phone, but of course, you know, TMZ is the one that got, got the yeah. Yeah, when you got when you're the when you're the media guru and you got money and you could just toss somebody a couple thousand for a video for Or just their take phone, somebody like, video. Or you can steal it, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to TMZ for stealing our stuff. Yeah, no doubt. Shout out to TMZ. Yeah, we're still looking for our credit. Yeah. But um, that was the sizzle. And that was the sizzle, ladies yes. and gentlemen. It's your yes. boy Charles Greg yes. with the beautiful. Lawrence Sizzle. And the beautiful. Lady Are you listening to WPPMLP Philadelphia 106.5 FM? And this is We Talk Weekly after the talk. Hey, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel yet, 